Hey everybody, this is Petey Boo, and I think today we are going to be able to finish this here game, Yomu, and we're gonna do that by destroying Miss Person here, who I have figured out how to play, and by play I mean attack in the correct way. Um, so, how I have learned to attack this knife-throwing maniac of sorts, I have looked up a video on YouTube which I am surprised actually exists, because every other search, woo, uh, has led me to believe that this boss is next to impossible, and by that I mean no one has ever beaten her. And, well, I just got hit, so time to go back to the title screen. Um, because I start out without the, uh, the shield ring equipped, so yeah. So anyway, I found a video on YouTube where a guy uses the strategy scene not at the end of the last video, but second to the end. Um, you'll, you'll see it after I get past our first stage. And it works surprisingly well once you figure out what exactly you're doing. Which, unfortunately, I did not do in the last video. So. Basically, the point of this battle is to not mess up on any of your dashes, and also to take as little damage as possible, because... While you can use the same strategy for the second, uh, for the third stage as you do for the second, it will take a lot longer. I will, if I can, dang it, I'll get back to about this area and I'll continue talking. Okay, back here, and as I was saying, uh, this, the strategy used for the second stage can be used for the third stage, it's just that it will take approximately twice as long, because you can, on average, only get about half the number of attacks on her at, in any single pass, so... Uh, whoops, oh, come on! The reason I'm resetting is that I cannot afford to take any damage at all while I don't have the shield ring equipped, so that's what's happening there. So, as I was saying, yes, the second part strategy can be used for the third part. However, it does take more attacks. I will be showing a few passes of that just there, but if I have enough health at that point, I'm just going to uh, tank all of her hits like I did at the end of the Reimu battle. So, what I should do right now is switch over to the tactic that I should be using, which is to de-equip these two. I don't even know why I have Marissa's bread on. It doesn't really do anything, but it does fill up all my stuff. So, basically what I'm going to do is, as soon as I unpause, I'm going to uh, stream the bullets as I'm pointing at them with my finger, <laughs> and I'm going to slowly chip away at her health for the next 20 or so minutes while periodically dodging when I get to the end of the row of blocks above my head. So, let's start that. Basically, just gotta attack. There we go. I got one attack off on her, and soon she'll start her second phase. And, uh, so I actually... I actually... Oh, come on. I, I like the principle of this battle. It has... Lots of good techniques, like streaming, and then once she starts this, and especially the third stage, it's really all about 
dodging as well as streaming at the same time. So, it does have a lot of good techniques. I just wish maybe she had like half the amount of health. <laughs> because honestly, this is kind of silly. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what I'll be doing for the next 20 minutes or I don't know how long it takes to do the second stage. Maybe 10 minutes. But, um, so yeah, so I have a ton of projects, I'm just going to talk, ah, come on, I don't want to take any damage at all, and I hate when I get stuck like that, so I'll, uh, I'm going to talk about my LPs for a minute, I have a lot of projects going on right now, I have, in waking up, gotten about to the end of Boomer Castle, I already have re-gotten the, uh, enchanting tables, and... Enchanted a pretty nice bow instead of the sword I got at the end of the, or at not the end, but in my actual recording. So that's going to be a little bit, um, uh, what's discontinuous? I don't know. I don't know what word you'd want to use. <sighs> See, that's the part I hate. But, um, so I'm going to have slightly different weapons, but it's like whatever, you know. And, um, so that should be starting back up soon, once I have time. I have, of course, started Mega Man. Um, that should be fun. Once, well, this is recorded before I have recorded any second stage, so I'm going to say it's going to be fun once it starts to not be blind. And what else? I am doing Skyward Sword as we saw I uploaded a test video a couple days ago, and well, it seems to be going good recording from the Wii U, so hopefully the same thing will be able to be done uh, with Skyward Sword as opposed to just an actual Wii U game. Um, you know, my capture card is really, really... It's not really confusing the setup, it's just, uh, I, it's actually really easy to set up to work with the Wii U. I was just being a silly face, but, um, it's really, I don't know if it's possible to set up Minecraft on a single monitor. Like, I would love to record Minecraft with it because the file sizes are incredibly small. As opposed to fraps, which are ridiculously large, especially when you're recording at 720p. I believe this records at 480p, and it's, you know, 3.2 instead, or 4.3 instead of 16.9. So, it's 480 SD, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. But, uh, I still have not yet gotten it to work with that. I don't know... What I really have to do, it's not like, um, it pretty much records a screen, like, it records the entire screen at a certain resolution, so, basically I can't use, as far as I can tell right now, not full screen, uh, games with it, so Minecraft can go into full screen, but I'm not able to actually get it to work for some reason. Um, I have, of course, gotten, uh, Wii U to work because, of course, any console will play at full screen natively, so that's no problem. Just plug in, uh, launch the program, and you can record. But, um, something like Yomu, which I don't even know if you can do full screen, would be pretty much impossible to record, but... You know, whatever. Yomu is such a low resolution that the file sizes aren't as big a deal as with Minecraft. I mean, I think I said in a recent Minecraft video, like, one file was 400 gigabytes. And I have yet to see this get over 200, even though I've recorded for almost an hour. So, whatever. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Um, oh yeah, the recording program that I was using for Super Nintendo, 
games, what is like becoming slowly wor a worse and worse choice to use. Because there are apparently three different kinds of recorders out there, screen recorders. There's Fraps, which records a window. There's um, my capture card, which records a screen. And then there's um, the other one that I use that can do either of those. Although, if you do a window, it will also record the border, which is, of course, something that an LPR does not want to do in most cases. But it can also record a region of the screen, which is generally very useful when I want to, you know, like, show multiple programs at one time. The problem is, it seems to have actual problems actually recording games. Even though it has a game mode for recording, it cannot seem... It can't go above 30 frames per second for some reason. At least I haven't found a way. So... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, like, because for a lot of old games, they ran at 60 frames per second, unlike current console games, which all run at, you know, 30 FPS, but they also need 60 FPS to not be really, really choppy, which is unfortunate because, you know, I'd like to decrease the file sizes by only recording at 30 frames a second, but... If I gotta record at 60, then I gotta record at 60. I'm also... Whoa, here we go. So, she starts doing that, and then... That. And then you have, like, two chances to hit her. So I think what I'm going to do is unequip power one, stamina two, equip this, and let's see if we can kill her like crazy. But basically I'd be doing the exact same thing, it's just uh, it would take a lot longer so I don't really want to do it. So that's why I'm not going to do it. Uh, how many? Okay, I have three things left. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope. Yes! <laughs> and you get absolutely nothing. Not even a cutscene of anything. The music doesn't even stop. Oh man, that was amazing. I cannot believe that I was able to actually do that while continuously, for the most part, talking. But, oh wow, and I think, like, I could have done it just by d using the same, uh, the same strategy as part two, but it would just take so long, and the chances of messing up are just so high, I, it's just not really worth it. But, wow, that, that was pretty good. Okay. So, what can we do while we are on this high of destroying someone for no real reason? I don't think there should be anywhere on the map that we have not gone. So, wow, I do like that boss fight, though. It is... It's pretty cool, you know, it's not, it's not the best, but it certainly does have some good techniques, and if I didn't just cheese the final form, or final stage, I guess you can call it, it would have even better strategies of actually dodging things, which is a nice skill to have in Toho, but I had enough of that in my off-screen training, so while recording, let's not really deal with that. So, I think that's actually all. Uh, we can go into the maze and have like zero health, but um, I actually, like, Cherno was here, and obviously we're not going to face Cherno at all, but I wonder why she was there at all, which is 
um, something that I wonder. So, I'm gonna guess that she's just going to reappear or not. Okay, cool, so that was surprising, actually. Let's just go see what happens if we do this. Well, I mean, I can just buy things for days. It doesn't really matter at all. But if we go back, does she reappear? No. So she's completely dead. That's pretty cool. We killed a maid. It's awesome. So, this has been Petey Boo. Playing, beating, finishing, whatever you want to call it. This game, Boho Yo Yo Mu. And I suppose I have three other games that I should be playing, so you'll see one of them in the next video. So I will see you all for that, and goodbye.